all right guys wes here welcome back to the channel today we are back again talking about the new star wars open world game from ubisoft as you guys are well aware star wars is one of the biggest ips in the entire world regardless of how much the last decade or so may have pushed you away from it in fact i would say the constant tug of war between good and bad star wars content has kind of woken up the ip's owner disney to the fact that they actually need to put some real effort into the projects if they want to keep people on their side the backlash to star wars games started a few years ago when ea lost their exclusivity rights to the series as they were not renewed due to the amount of backlash generated by the terrible launch that was Battlefront 2. And we've recently been hearing a ton of rumors that Disney is currently in the process of pretty much resetting all of their current efforts for Disney content in the form of theaters, Disney Plus, and now video games. Now in today's video, we're going to talk about the mysterious and allegedly gigantic open world Star Wars game that if you didn't know is currently in development by Ubisoft Massive and I'm sure Ubisoft as a whole. So today we're going to go over absolutely everything we know about Ubisoft's open world Star Wars game and talk about what it could mean for the future of the studio as well as star wars games as a whole especially if you consider all of the insane statements that have come out from the company in recent days so get ready guys get yourself a drink and also don't forget to enter the 100,000 subscriber giveaway those details will be later on in the video so without further delay let's go ahead and dive into it now before we get into all of the new star wars stuff i want to do a really quick recap about what's been happening over at ubisoft over the last few weeks as that stuff will be important when talking about what the company's future holds and what they're going to be up to going forward in their most recent financial update ubisoft was confirmed to be canceling three unannounced games while also delaying skull and bones for the sixth time and declined to put a release date on it meaning the highly anticipated pirate game may not come out in 2023 after all it was also confirmed a while back that ubisoft quietly canceled another four games in july of 2022 and recently reports are claiming that they are trying to shave a whopping 200 million dollars off of yearly operating costs now this isn't the first time ubisoft has been in a rough position in the mid 2000s ubisoft was pumping out games far too early in advance leading to most of them coming out buggy and underwhelming which is what led to the drastic overhaul of assassin's creed into an rpg ubisoft has been in the weeds before but this time it feels a little bit different for a big reason they don't really have any other fallbacks when ubisoft was struggling before they had multiple franchises to keep them afloat when assassin's creed was struggling the tom clancy and far cry games kind of picked up the slack and vice versa however over the last few years ubisoft has been severely lacking in output and now that they're in a financial hole they really don't have anything in the pipeline to save them the next major assassin's creed game is still another eight to 12 months out and the next far cry game isn't even announced yet as for tom clancy that entire ip has essentially been run into the dirt over the last few years with the exception of rainbow six siege and when it comes to new ips the constant delay of skull and bones are making things quite difficult ubisoft star wars game is being headed by massive entertainment the same studio behind the division games and who is currently working on avatar frontiers of pandora now i know many of you may have rolled your eyes when you heard me say the division but honestly i think this is a good thing rather than a bad one the division may not have been everyone's cup of tea but there's one thing that we can all agree upon and that is the attention to detail within the open world which was incredible massive entertainment are experts at creating really immersive open worlds and it's not really a surprise to me that ubisoft chose them to make avatar and star wars the game is also confirmed to be running on the snowdrop engine which is pretty good news to me assuming that they have worked out all of the kinks they had in previous ubisoft titles creative director julian garetti stated that previously we want to make a unique game within the saga with a captivating story instead of characters that players can relate to and connect with we want to take what is known and familiar about star wars and tell stories of new characters who have their own motivations and stakes while that doesn't really tell us anything about the gameplay itself it does make it clear that it will likely not be following any of the established characters granted this doesn't really rule out that it takes place during the era that we're familiar with like the clone wars or the galactic civil war but it does confirm that we shouldn't expect it to feature too many familiar faces which is pretty welcome at this point i don't know about you guys but i am pretty much over the nostalgia baiting and would rather have new star wars adventures and stories the gameplay is getting a ton of attention despite it being still really early in development according to a number of insiders and official sources ubisoft star wars game is going to feature a gigantic open world with a planet hopping gameplay loop similar to no man's sky and eventually starfield you'll be able to jump from system to system to planet to planet and the game will basically be bursting at the seams with content now it's unclear how deep or detailed this content will be even if it's simple stuff there is going to be a lot of it with the upcoming release of bethesda's starfield which also promises to have a no man's sky galaxy to explore it seems that these gigantic open world games are getting more popular likely thanks to the resurgence of no man's sky in recent years along with the insane funding that's going on with the upcoming star citizen if done right an open world star wars game of this scale could be absolutely incredible and it could be the star wars game that we've all been waiting for similar to how hogwarts legacy is the game that harry potter fans have been waiting for there seems to be a shift happening where game companies are finally realizing how much money there is to be made in licensed games done properly and i'm really hoping that the hole that ubisoft dug for themselves is finally going to make them realize it now granted i have no idea how a galaxy-sized 
Star Wars game could ever be completed in a reasonable amount of time without some kind of procedural generation, which is kind of a shame because I'm not a fan of that kind of game design, but you never know. Now it is possible that a bunch of the planets will be meticulously designed while the rest will be procedural. And it's also totally possible that Massive Entertainment comes up with a really cool and a new way to do something like this, but I'm nervous about this game's size to say the least. When talking about a potential release date, it should be noted that we're probably at least another two to three years away from seeing even a little bit of gameplay. Given the fact that the game is currently being worked on by Massive Entertainment, we really shouldn't be expecting much in the near future due to the fact that they're currently working on Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, which was recently delayed not too long ago. Originally, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora was going to release alongside the new movie, but since that obviously didn't happen, Ubisoft is now claiming that the game will launch by the end of 2024, but that doesn't exactly give us too much to go off of. And not too long ago, a cryptic tweet from the creative director made it clear that 2023 was going to be a big year for the upcoming Star Wars game, which could potentially mean that there's some important news for the upcoming Star Wars game, but further speculation led to many believe that it's just going to be something like a title reveal or maybe a development update rather than a full gameplay trailer or anything that you'd expect from a game that's coming up on its release date. Granted, insider sources have stated that Disney wants a new Star Wars game every six months and they already have a few lined up on the schedule, but obviously not all of these are going to be AAA titles and Disney isn't likely going to sign off on anything that will get them in hot water like EA's Battlefront games did. Disney clearly wants to revive Star Wars and gaming, but they don't want to dig the Star Wars hole any deeper than they already have, which means giving developers more space to do their thing, but also widening and diversifying who they give funding to, which explains why they got rid of exclusivity deal with EA. But as for what this means for the release date, I think it all depends on when Avatar actually comes out. It's clear that Massive Entertainment are working on both Star Wars and Avatar at the same time, but Star Wars isn't really going to get the attention it truly needs until after Avatar launches. And since that may not happen until late 2024 at this point, I'm not expecting Star Wars to launch until 2026. Granted, something may change and Ubisoft may put more hands on the project, but ultimately I'm expecting Star Wars to launch roughly two years after Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. And since that's not happening for a while, I wouldn't expect to see this new Ubisoft Star Wars game for the foreseeable future. Now, as I briefly covered before, Ubisoft is currently in the same situation that EA was in a while back. And honestly, that's kind of reassuring. Remember when EA was getting blasted every year by the gamers and being voted worst company in America over and over again? Well, EA may still be a bad company at this time. They've actually started to improve, taking a step back to let their developers make better products and also making some really pro-consumer moves like EA Play and the business model of Apex Legends. Sure, there's still some bad eggs like Battlefield 2042, but then again, there are some genuinely amazing games like Jedi Fallen Order and the extremely hyped sequel Jedi Survivor. EA's controversies over the last few years have helped kick them back into shape. And with Ubisoft now on the edge, I'm really hoping this wakes them up. Ubisoft has been rapidly pushing gamers away with overpriced, undercooked games full of microtransactions. So it really shouldn't be a surprise that they're now in some pretty serious financial trouble. Ubisoft isn't going under, but if they don't start listening to the consumers and giving gamers what they want, they may end up getting snatched by a larger company like Microsoft or Sony, but that's a video for another day. Overall, I'm really excited for the prospects of a giant open world Star Wars game like this, and I certainly think Ubisoft has the potential to make an amazing game, but with everything that the company has been up to recently, I'm being very cautious with my hype. Ubisoft are some of the best open world developers in the world when it comes to the attention to detail and sheer size, but the level design and storytelling have suffered due to the lack of quality care from the developers, which can ultimately be blamed on the higher ups not giving them enough time. With Ubisoft at a really hard spot right now, I think it would be a perfect time for them to pull out a comeback and give us something truly amazing, but they could also just easily take the quick and easy path as Vader did and give us another half-baked buggy No Man's Sky wannabe. I know Ubisoft has the talent and resources for something amazing, but I'm honestly not sure they're going to make use of them. Only time will tell, I suppose. But from the looks of it, we're not going to see any gameplay for this game for at least another two years. So I guess we'll have to keep waiting, keep hoping, and cross your fingers that it's something worth it in the end. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up with this video. Let me know what your thoughts are on this Ubisoft open world Star Wars game. Are you excited? Do you think it's going to be as good as what they're saying it's going to be? Also, don't forget to enter the 100,000 subscriber giveaway. All of the details are in the pinned comment. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel and bonus entries if you follow my other social media and send proof that you're following to either my Twitter DMs or my Discord server. All of the links are in the pinned comment. Thank you all for watching. This has been Wes, and I will talk to you guys on the next video.